All right, hello YouTube. I'm going to show you how my Daisy Texture Pack works with the Daisy Texture Baker. So we've imported a car in here, and let's just work with the car body for now. So turn all this off. We've got the shell. This is just one texture. This is the Camo Kraska .paa image. So anything that we apply to this needs to be baked to just one single image. So let's just drag one of these textures on. Let's start with little glossy black paint, like so. And I, so I'm going to stick with them colors for now. So I'm going to go and click on the object, click tab. And I can select different parts. So let's just say I want to make this hood bit silver or something like that. Oh, that didn't work. So you might have to go into there manually and select each part. I forgot how to deselect something. There we go, yeah. So I'm going to go into, not that one, what am I doing? Top down. Right, so, and then I'm going to get the, there should be a tool somewhere for using the brush, right? I just can't find the button. There we go. And I don't know which one it is. So I'm just going to select them manually. All right, so this is, I'm just showing you how to bake two textures from one, if that makes sense. I hope it does. I can actually select all the way down here and then just deselect these bits. It's going to be a very, very rough job on this car, but by the way, I'm holding shift and click to add and control and click to remove the selection. So on these bits, I hold control and drag and click over them, which removes every bit I'm selecting. It's going to be a very, you, you need to obviously, when you're doing this, you want to go into it and make some proper minute, like, details like for here here for example you can see I've selected a bit of the side of it but honestly this is just for the tutorial purposes you can do this how you want to do it and I've also think I've selected a bottom part of the car which I don't want yeah I did I can see it here so if I go into wireframe mode now you can see all the bits that you selected so if I try and get into an angle where I can't see the top of the bonnet I can hold control and just drag all of that stuff that's another bit that, ah, oh, go back into this mode. Try and find it manually. You may get lost in this, by the way. I've noticed, I do it a lot. There you go, that's deselected. Let's select these again. So now I've got that somewhat roughly selected. I right click it and I separate by selection. So now you can see we have two different parts. Look, so I can turn the bonnet off and back on. And there's this. So go back into the material texture thing. So I said I want to make it, shall I make it a carbon fiber instead? So obviously with the texture packs as well, you can go into them down here. And if you click on the object that you actually want to edit, you can do it in here. Look, so I can turn the scale right now. So we've got like an actual carbon fiber hood. Make it rough. Turn the bump down just a little bit because it's I want it to be shiny. Like so. Shall I make, yeah, I'm going to change the color of this paint as well to maybe a lighter gray. And the sparkles to a white. And then maybe change the scale of them as well. And the sparkles amount, just, I just want a few sparkles, I don't want a lot. So as you can see, we've got two textures now applied to this. Shall I do the roof as well? Uh, if you press L as well, it normally selects a whole selection, so I'm happy with that. So I separate by selection. Let's make this a rusty metal on the roof. Oh, I can't do it in ed edit mode. In fact, no, I'm going to give it a wooden roof. Let's have a look at this wooden texture for you guys. As you can see, you've got your wooden bit there. And if you click on the object, you can change the colors of the wood. So I'm going to make it like a, a blue stained wood. Just to try and match the car, car a little bit. And it's obviously way too big right now. So I want to... If you drag this down... Oh, if you drag this up, sorry. It changes the scale of the actual wood texture. And if you zoom in, oh, excuse me. Oh my God, I've lost, I've lost it. All right, so I'm there. I need to shift click to move. So you can see like the glossiness of it. You can change this on here and the roughness. So it can make it so it's not so shiny. You can add a bump to it. So it adds some of that wood grain texture. But be careful with this because if you go too high, it will look terrible inside of the game, I've noticed. So, so yeah, we've got this part. 
selected. Um, should give him a carbon fiber boot as well. So if I press L on it, yes, and L again on there. See that easily separated that selection. The so separate by selections. Let's add a bit more carbon fiber to it. Oh, carbon fiber. So you've got a carbon fiber hood and a carbon fiber boot and a, <laughs> a wooden sunroof. So let's just say you're happy with your texture anyway, and you've got all these sep these objects all separated. As you can see, the textures already have the the colors, no HQ. All all my textures have this, so you don't have to worry about making any more nodes inside this. You can literally just press. Or you can either select them all like this, like hold shift and click the bottom one after you click the top one, right click and join, or you can in your viewport. If that's all you've got in the viewport, press A, right click and then join. So now you have one object up here. I'm going to call this car underscore body. So now we have that selected. Let's go down to our panel. We have a daisy texture baker here. I'm going to do it in 2K images because why not? Let's go to my desktop. Create a new folder. Tutor... Tutor... Uh, <laughs> tutorial bake. There we go. I've got so many tutorial videos of folders, I mean, sorry. So I accept that. So I've got the location here. I can either bake the color, the no HQ, the smitty, or the all of them. So I'm going to click all. This might slow down the stream, the video a little bit, but it, it can take a few, it can take a few seconds. And I just want to state as well. Oh, my mouse is terrible right now. I can't control it. But once you click bake, once you see the, the blue button in the right hand corner or blue on the button that you just click, that means it's still baking. So try not to click inside a blender. Wait until that goes back to gray and then you're, you're safe to use blender again. So let us do this thing for a couple of minutes. Oh, we're finished. So the button just went back. So if I go to my folder now, go to my desktop, uh, if I can find it, there we go. Tutorial bake. There you have it. Look, you got your, your color texture. You got your no HQ. And you've got your smithy. So that's how it works flawlessly with it, with multiple textures. And you can customize every single one of these textures as well to work with how you want it to work. So there you have it, guys. The Daisy Texture Baker and the Daisy Texture Pack available in the links in the description. Thank you for your support, guys. I love you a lot. Join the Discord.